morning all. So today is Tuesday the 4th of April. Um, I haven't done a video for probably six, seven days now because I've got hit by the flu lurgy. Um, I had the onset of a bad headache, the sore throat last week. I tested for COVID, it was negative. Um, and then another three days of out training, um, getting drenched so I don't think it helped. And then the weekend from the neck up, it was just, I just couldn't breathe. So walking up hills or anything like that was just a no-no. I couldn't breathe, so I thought, easier not to make one. Um, before we start this video, just to answer a couple of questions I've had sent me. Um, where are we with the followers on the channel? Well, currently we are at 109. So we've still got a good, good way to go. 391 followers we need. So as soon as we hit 500, I can promise you, we will run a competition. So get your people following it, get people to subscribe. We watch a video, there's a subscribe option. The quicker that gets out, the quicker we run the cop. Uh, next one was somebody asked me is why don't I do just a, like a daily blog video? So every day I just do a video of like going to a lessons, this, that, that. Um, I would, but to be honest, a lot of the, the comments I get on the channel around how do I train this, how do I train that? So if I do just a blog, it might not cover all the points. What I try to do is to cover the points that have been requested. Obviously, I've still got to train Billy Boy here. He's still learning. If you've seen the videos, you'll see where he started to where he's getting now. Um, we've come up here today because obviously what a beautiful day beautiful view beautiful day um, and I will talk through what I'm doing with him as well uh, but so, somebody meant, asked me the other day about how do I train a sit whistle and I did promise him I would do a video on that and obviously because I've been on well I haven't so today to start with how I train a sit whistle is I start off with walking the dog on a lead and then every five steps I hit the sit whistle and say sit and I make the dog sit so when I got Biddy, I did that for the first 10 to 12 days. Then when I'm out working him with the tennis balls, if you've watched the channel, um, and he goes left and right, I start hitting the sit whistle when he's about three foot away from me. And I put my hand up and I step towards him as I say sit. And then slowly I build it up. So he's getting better. Um, the further away from me goes, the higher my hand goes. So if he's close, it's there. If he's further away, it's up there like that. I'm going to do a bit of that today. Also today what I'm going to do is, um, because he needs to learn a lot more about trusting my arm, um, we're going to do a lot of what we call blind retrieve. So he's not going to even know I've thrown a dummy and I'm then going to send him to find the dummy. Um, as you can see by the grass, there's a breeze blowing. At the moment it's blowing towards me. So if I chuck the dummies in front, there's a great chance you pick the centre up and you go straight to it. So I'm going to chuck the dummies behind or down the hill there. He's sunbathed at the moment, thinking he's going to have an easy day. Um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut the video um, and I'll just start recording again uh, when I start the training. But I hope you enjoy it. And I say, if anyone's got any feedback, there's anything you want to learn. Um, one, of, one of the questions I had was, why, can't I, why don't I just put up every day where I'm going to be so people can come and watch me train? I would if I thought people would turn up. Um, because uh, keeping it simple, I'm running a class for children this week. Uh, one in Gloucester, one in Thornbury. When I originally put the post up, I had over 40 people interested. Um, I am running the classes because I feel I should do for the people that come in, but there's only seven attending. So for those of you that are coming to the kids' class this week, enjoy it because I won't be running anymore. Uh, quite simply because I could have filled my time teaching lessons but I felt that children needed some help as well. But I'll run them so they get a lot more of my time in the hour. Um, and I hope they enjoy it. But here we go. We'll start the training. I'll uh, hope you enjoy it. Please, any feedback. If you don't genuinely want to watch me come and train with Billy, let me know where you live. I'll tell you what day I'm going to be there. I'll you, can, you might be able to give me some good places to train. Because like everyone else, I drive around looking for them. But we'll have a go and we'll see where we get. I'll speak to you in a minute. Okay. So he's over there, so I'm just going to call him back now. Come on then, good lad. So down over this dip, you can see there's that fence in, but if you imagine the line between me and that fence, um, down on the bank, or down on the bottom there, there's a dummy. Bill, come here. Sit up. So, I'm going to send in there. Away. So I need to watch where he's going. So straight away, look, he's sniffing something. 
there, down here, down there somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. But straight away, look, his nose is down. His nose is there, so he's upwind. So in that, there we go, beautiful. Good boy. No, no, hold, 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 drop. Good lad. Get on. So when I, um, no, that's mine. Tap. When I chuck a dummy, or when I hit the sit whistle, just a little tip again, this is only how I do it. Other traders will say, oh, I don't do it like that. That's fine. Is I always try and mark something. So if I was making him sit now, I'd hit the whistle now. If he doesn't sit, I know he's in line with that bush. So I would then walk out and put him to sit in exactly the spot he was when I blew the whistle, and I'd walk back to where I was, and then I would carry on hunting. Because if I hit sit there, but then he sits over there and I allow him to do that, over time he'll then go to there, to there. I need him to sit straight away. So I let him have a little run. Ah, ah. good boy. So look, now he's on the fire. So although that looks okay, I like to be special and get it just right. He was here. So that's where he was when I blew the whistle. So I will now walk back to where I was. And he'll be released from the sit. Get on. Good lad. And he gets. To be fair to him, he's not very quick and he gets better. So you've got it now. Ah! Good boy! So watch this. So. That's better. The reason I don't blow the whistle when he's running full pelt, because he can't really succeed, can he? He's running so fast. If even if he did his best work within the world, if he hits the brakes, he's not going to stop dead. So we've got to give him fairness. So I'll keep him sat there. Sit. Chuck that that way. Because I wanted to see that one. So he'll stay there. I got the rabbit skin in my hand. Back. So whilst he's going for that one, I'm going to chuck that one up there. I'm just going to let him hunt for that because he's up downwind. He should get this one reasonably straight straight away using his nose. So his brain is ticking away. He's going a bit too far. If he goes further left than that, I'll sit him up and pick, take him to the right. As I've noticed, I've had him since, since I've had him, he's got better about when I first got him, he had his nose up a lot. Now he's getting his nose down and trusting it, what it's there for. Good boy. Come here. Hold, drop, good boy. So now I'm going to send him for the one he doesn't know where it is. So this is something that we've had to work on because he still gets this wrong. If I say back now, he should go in a straight line. But I think he'll go so far, then he'll go to the side. But back. So there he's going. So he's going away for it. Ah! Ah! So if you see, that's my fault. So he knows he shouldn't have moved. So I've now got to walk to where he was when I originally set. He knows it, but I don't need to grab him or lift him up. Come here. I need to sit him up in line with this mound. Sit. That's where he was when I blew the whistle. So now he's got to sit there. I'll go back to where I dropped the other dummy so I know where I was stood. And then I'll send him out to my left his right with an arm command because the dumb is there out just trying to guide him so he'll work and then he'll get straight on it good lad so that's how i do that bit so for those of you that follow my facebook channel uh, my facebook page apologies um you'll see i put a picture of these broken these old dead trees up the other day saying great for training and again I can't remember the names, but somebody put, my spinal would work that lovely. Well, great, because that's what he's going to do. Start off with, I'm going to chuck a big dummy into, like, over the top. 
because of where he's sat now, he will think it's dropped close to what it is, so I need to get him to go back. But whilst he's up there hunting, I'm then going to chuck the smaller tennis ball in. Um, because I just want him to get his nose down, but we'll see how this goes. We haven't done with the test ball before, but we'll try him. Sit up. So I know that has cleared all the sticks. That's on the grass the other side. Those pigeons flying off will tell you that. He probably thinks it's 10 foot in. Oh wait. So he'll go that way. So there he goes, he's in the tree line. He's in the trees. You can see him, just about see him moving around. He's this side of mine. Just turn that back. So I need to encourage him to go right back past. He's still in there, but whilst he's in there, I'm going to try that tennis ball in there. Good lad. Now he'll do what he always does. Takes the easy route out and he takes a long route coming back. But he doesn't know now. Good boy. Sit. Drop. Good boy. He doesn't know that that tennis ball is now in there. So I need to just hunt him up and encourage him now. If there's a pile of sticks, he just needs to get his nose down. Again, this is not... You can do this with a pet, absolutely. But he's going to be a gun dog. I need him to get his head down and go in. Um, but I have to do it softly. This isn't too bad. If I wouldn't be putting it straight into thick brambles because that will just make him scared. So, get in. So I want to see what he does. Just want to let him work. And as soon as he gets the scent, get in. Good boy. Find him out, where is he? Get in. Get in. See? So now he knows there's something there because he can smell it because his nose is down. Now he's got to work out where's that smell coming from. So you'll come this way. Get in. Good lad. Find it. Find it. Where is it? Where is it? Find it. Pile of sticks will um hold the smell if he goes in here now he should get this but I just want to work out in here find it find it find it where is it find it where is he find him find him find him where is it good lad where is it find it find it there's his nose down good lad good lad come on in But like everyone, um, good boy, drop. The first time he does it, he's a bit wary, but I'm gonna do exactly the same drill again, and I'm gonna chuck, chuck the dummy over the top, then I'll chuck test ball, and this time I'm gonna see what he does. Sit up. So, long. I think that's just about cleared it. Get on. So same again, he'll go that way. Chuck that into there, like that. So he's there again. Did exactly the same he did last time. So I just gotta watch him. He goes around the outside. He'll go back through the middle. He might come back towards me in a minute and wait for me to send him back, or he might just work it out. I can just like see her in there now. Back! So if he gets a bit stuck, he doesn't know where it is, he'll stand, just stop and look at me. Um as if to say, can you help me out? So now I can't see him, I reckon he's probably got it. There he goes. So here he comes, once again, take the easy route, but let's take the long route back. Good boy. Drop, okay. Get in, find it, find it, find it. There we go, look at it, this time look, straight in. Straight in, nose is down, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Gone the wrong way, that's right. Here, find it. Here, find it. Get in, get in. Good lad, find it. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Good lad, good lad. Find it. Here he goes. Good boy. Nose down, straight in. Where's he built? Good boy. Come here, then. 
Good luck. Uh, for the last few weeks, I've been absolutely non-stop. Today, I have got two lessons later, but I've got a nice bit of time this morning to spend with him, get him out, um, and just enjoy it. Enjoy the weather, enjoy your dog, and enjoy each other. Take care.